David, a 16-year-old boy, was an altar boy at the Catholic Church when, he, when, when his friend, Otto, started telling him about the true Sabbath. Why don't you come, why don't you come visit my church, Otto asked, and see what it's all about. Without telling his family, David went with Otto to the Seventh-day Adventist Church one Sabbath. He liked it so much that he planned to attend the next Sabbath. However, that's when the conflict with his father began. David's father wanted him to work in the garden, but David told him that he couldn't because he was going to church instead. His father threatened to disown him, but David went to church anyway. Another time, David's angry father told him, I've been hunted. When I bring, the, when I bring meat of these animals home, I want you to eat it. I know that Seventh-day Adventists don't eat certain kinds of animals. I don't want you to be involved in a, with a church that is so restrictive. David stopped attending the Adventist church for a while, but then one day Otto came by and told David that he had missed him at church and wondered why he hadn't come. David said that he was afraid to go because the way his father had spoken to him was dangerous. However, the next Sabbath day was back at the seventh dad. He was back at the seventh dad in his church. That's when his father ordered him to leave home. David had no place to go, so he went to the most logical place he could think of, the Seventh-day Adventist Church. He slept, in, he slept in the church for three nights, went to school in the morning, and stayed with his, his friends in the afternoon. When a local elder learned of David's situation, he counseled with the district pastor, and the two men arranged a meeting with David's father. They wanted to tell him that the direction David was going was, best way, was the best way for the youth, and that he would end up being a better son. Sadly, Mr. Arcana didn't show up for the appointment. To add more stress to David's life, it was the time of the year for his school exam. In spite of his family difficulties, however, he did very well on his exam. Church members cared for David in their homes, and eventually the father's anger subsided a bit, but he, he still wouldn't have much to do with the boy. At first, the mother took sides with her husband, but then she weakened because of her motherly love, said David. His parents thought David was confused by the Adventist church and no one, no one in his father family, no one in his family supported him in his new beliefs. Mr. Arcana decided to enroll David in a private boarding school, a short distance from school. Mr. Arcana wouldn't pay the tuition, but David's mother found a way to secretly pay. Throughout these difficulty times, Otto had shared several Bible texts with David and promises were huge encouragement to him. He felt peace when he read Matthew chapter 10, verse 28 and 31. And I realized that God cared for me, cared for those pharaohs, and cared for me, and me for more. The idea that God even knew how many hairs were on his head was amazing and comforting to him. Reading in Matthew chapter 10, verses 34 through 39, and about how, one, how one's accepting of Christ often brings vision to a home, seems to be describing the situation completely. David came home from holidays during his second term at boarding school. He talked to his sisters about his religion, and the girls were willing to listen. To David's delight, both sisters were eventually baptized. Then, then the sad story of rejection started again. Mr. Arkenna ordered his daughter out of the house. They, too, went to live with the church members. When asked why it was so important for him to join the Seventh-day Adventist Church in spite of the difficulties he faced, David referenced chapter 10, Matthew chapter 10. He who finds his life will lose it. He who loses his life for my sake will find it. I found that the Seventh-day Adventist church is teaching the true gospel, said David. God gave us his Sabbath to celebrate and to keep. He also told his disciples to go and preach to the entire world and baptize them. Because I want to go and share what I found, I've decided to become a pastor. Thank you. Amen. Amen.